So, here's the overall setup, that big cluster. I use these two windings on this audio transformer, which comes out to be 60 volts DC when rectified and smoothed. Um, it drops down to about 39 when drawing an ice arc. So, it obviously doesn't supply enough current, but it gets the job done. It's pulled over 8 inch arcs on a good flyback before it died. Here is a fuse for once. It's very rare for me to have any safety features. 15 amps, which should be enough in case something totally short circuits on this board. I also have a switch that's another added feature here. I have my 1000 volt 50 amp bridge rectifier. I wonder how it's rated. Is it rated for 1000 volts AC or 1000 volts DC? I'd assume DC. Anyway, here's the board itself. These are 470 ohm resistors, 2 watts. But since I don't use dual power supplies on here, they get very hot and get, get discolored, especially at my input voltage. The only reason I don't use dual power supplies on here is because I'd be tempted to input more power and on this little board it would blow off the traces because I already blew one trace and fixed it up with some solder so there's your 470 ohm resistors my capacitors did go here but now I have them on the back it has a better connection on the back 1N4744A Zener diodes 15 volt 1 watt here's your 10k resistor half watt and two IRFP 260Ns this was one bag heatsink but I just hacksawed it down because you can't let those touch. Anyway, here's my capacitor bank. I have two. Each one has one microfarad. So I have them in series for 0.5 microfarads at 800 volts. And then there's my 0.1 microfarad capacitor. I have that in parallel. This is my homemade flyback since I killed all my other good ones at least. They're in that box. Uh, that's either 4 plus 4 turns or 5 plus 5 turns. I don't remember what I chose here. But this is a homemade flyback. I have three layers of really nice windings with tape insulating each layer. Then I ended up getting sick of it because this wire is too thick for a flyback anyway. And I uh, just wound it up into a big ball of mess. And I threw it under some oil. I don't know what gauge this wire is, but it's way too thick for a flyback. Although I happen to like it because of the current output. I would guess it may be 26 gauge. It's definitely a deadly output due to the current. This was at one point in time a beer can. Let's turn around. This is an iron rod or chunk of iron at least. And now it works. Weird. That's a blob of metal right there. Okay. Now let's say bye to the spear can. There is your beer can. Satan wants him free. Nice song. My lightsaber.
Thank you.